some films come along and catch you unawares. Tonight's cutting edge film sneaked up on me and left me dazed and confused. We have in our David Lynch season introduced such films as Blue Velvet and Wild at Heart. These are stories which are visceral, electric, and wildly dangerously told. They were uncompromising in their vision and sheer heaven to sit in a cinema and watch. Well, if you thought they were on the odd side of the street, prepare yourself for the most bizarre and rewarding of them all. Tonight's Lynch Masterclass takes us up to Lost Highway, a film that is so baffling and strange that it leaves little room for loss of concentration. As we have <laughs> Lynch films have their own rhythm. They feel and sound like you've entered one of your own dreams, which is taking a turn for the worst, one that you can't get away from. I'm not even going to try and explain the story. I'll leave that little joy for you to explore. But be aware that the Lynch world has very little to do with the real world. Bill Pullman's casting was a stroke of genius. He relishes the role, investigating the dark side of his character's personality. Everything in the film seems heavy with meaning. Patricia Arquette slowly meanders through the film, gently exposing the hypocrisies around her, looking sensual and fetishized in a way that only David Lynch can do. The Lynch universe is a bad place, a place where innocence is manipulated into the sordid and helpless, and a place you would never want to go. Strangely, Lynch has always said that what he shows is lurking in the shadows of all our lives in some shape or form. Well, let's hope for all our sakes that the bogeymen of Lost Highway are living somewhere else at the moment. This is a perverse and frightening film that shows you, in case you haven't noticed, that David Lynch is a one-off and one of the greatest filmmakers I've ever seen.